Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this channel and new to this series, the game is simple. You laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. What is today's punishment? If you laugh, you lose, you have to eat a jar of sweet pickles while watching all of the Zeducation Extras videos over on the Zeducation Extras YouTube channel. And you have to subscribe there. I know, I know a lot of parts there, but the sweet pickles, that's the huge punishment. And if you've never had sweet pickles, you're gonna find out why I hate them real fast. But you gotta finish the whole jar, you have to. If you accept the terms of today's game, Head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. How dare the NFL build stadium walls to keep fans that haven't paid for a ticket from entering? What are you implying here with this meme, huh? This is just outrageous. Outrageous. But yeah, no, I kind of make a good point. Uh, the, the walls around politicians' houses, the barbed wire fence around the White House. Yeah, well, what do we need walls for, right? Just a quick reminder. Oh, dude, that is maddening. If you're going to work tomorrow or today, whenever you're watching this, just remember, I hope this, you know, triggers your OCD. I, I hope it doesn't, but I hope you hope we do something about it. That's my point here. I hope it triggers someone enough to where we get this right. I don't know how we didn't get it right in the first place. The McRib is the deadbeat dad of the fast food world. Comes around once a year, and we're all supposed to act excited. <laughs> That's terrible. It's so true, though. Remember when they pretended that they were, the McRib was done forever? Freaking liars. Not sure what horrific traumatic life event that happened to you to hate sweet pickles, but I'll say a prayer for you. <laughs> I can tell the exact moment. So when my wife and I started dating, I was at her apartment. She had a jar of pickles in her fridge. That's literally like the only food that was there. I was hungry. Grab the pickles, chomp into it, and it wasn't a dill. I almost puked. Yeah, that's that's where that's where it started. 1999 to 2023, 2024. This was this came out like in the the 90s, right or early 2000s? Am I not mistaken? This Simpsons video, Stephen Hawking. Did you guys see? You guys. It's ringing a bell for you guys. Are you connecting the dots here with the news that came out? Simpsons, they predicted the future again. They do this all the time. I swear. When I die, I hope it's early in the morning so I don't have to go to work that day for no reason. <laughs> well, hopefully you're retired by then. It's kind of a dark thought, but... If... I guess... I guess... I guess... When your coworker asks a question that makes the meeting go on for another 30 minutes. Ugh... Isn't this most corporate meetings? Like most corporate meetings, A, should have never been a meeting in the first place. And a simple email would suffice. B, all of this back and forth about nonsense. Such a waste of time. Painter, do you want to put down the burrito while I paint your portrait? Me, absolutely nuts. <laughs> you hold that burrito. It's Taco Tuesday in two days. Okay, it should be Taco Tuesday every day. Never let the burrito go. My coworker started crying because her boyfriend broke up with her through text, and my manager said, "That's why we stay off our phones at work." I love that. <laughs> it is your personal problems; they matter. We should help address them as coworkers, as managers, to a degree. But they're still. You know, there's still people ordering McDonald's. There's still people ordering the burgers, the fries. We got to serve them, okay? And when this happens, when you're on your phone and you're distracted, I know there's some of you that are going to freak out over this, okay? Just, <laughs> this is a good manager. If it works, don't touch it. <sighs> this should be taught at, like, kindergarten. For real. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. One little move could mess up the whole thing. Your whole system. I don't care what it is. Whether you've got a PC for gaming. Whether it's the internet modem. Don't freaking touch it. Leave it. It feels amazing to walk into a store and buy whatever I want without looking at the price tag. Thank you, Dollar Tree. This is not true. Dollar Tree, Dollar General. It's false advertising. It's not. They're not a dollar. Things are not a dollar there. 
oh, I'm going to pay a dollar for all these items. That's not the case. You have to look at the price tag there. Some things are out of control too. It's nuts. Why on earth would you say half a dozen when you can literally say six? That's it's the, the Kamala Harris gene. You just say things to fill the void, right? Sounds smart. Try to sound smart. Today, I learned that ostriches often walk around and then forget where they are going. Today, I also learned that my spirit animal may be an ostrich. <laughs> uh, that I guess that's Joe Biden's spirit animal too. What is your spirit animal? What that? I mean, aren't there people that get paid to to give you your spirit animal? Has anyone ever done that? Stay safe out there, everyone. So I had two tickets for the Madam Web movie in my car, and someone broke in and left four more. <laughs> I've heard very bad things about that movie. I haven't seen it. Frankly, I don't even really know what it's about. I've just seen the reviews. I've seen people not liking it. Have you seen it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave your review in the comments. When I get my tax money, I'm cooking my ramen noodles in Fiji water. Ooh, a little Fiji water, huh? You're going fancy. That's real fancy if you're going to be cooking ramen in that. Opening my microwave to heat up the coffee I forgot to drink, only to find yesterday's coffee that I forgot to drink in the same exact mug felt very surreal. It's a glitch in the matrix, man. Something happened the day before uh, that was out of the ordinary. Someone's trying to reach you through the ether, through the matrix. You should listen. When things seem especially rough, just ask yourself, did I crap my pants today? And if the answer is no, you're doing all right. <laughs> it could always be worse, guys. This, this is disgusting. But if you did not do that, you're having an okay day. All right? Because it, it could be that bad. And if it ain't that bad, it's not that bad. <laughs> Zed for kids. Yes, our daughter's four months old and she can be mid-meltdown. But then we turn on Tyler and she just smiles at him for an entire video. We keep telling her you're already married, but the crush is strong. Dude, I still don't understand. Kids loves education. It's wild. I think they, they like the memes, okay? Start them young. Start sharing the memes. Tell them. Teach them. Spread the memes. But yes, I, I see these comments all the time. I see, it's weird. Maybe it's not weird. I, I don't know what it is about his education, but little babies, they love it. How some of y'all's turn signals look. <laughs> I'd say it's about 90% of people. Yeah. Kids today would never understand this. The other part that is missing on this, this is after playing Snake for like three hours. I mean, the batteries were unbelievable. How are these batteries not still around and in use? Nokia had something going for them. I'm in the big stall and it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh that is it's not funny but it is hilarious oh man that's <laughs> and it actually happened look I use the big stall every time and it's never happened to me so this is like this is like seeing a unicorn I've never ever ever seen a wheelchair pull up motorized cart while in the big stall has this ever happened to you? My future son looks like a South Park character. Dude, it, yeah, you're you're about to give birth to Kenny. <laughs> what in the heck? Let us know. Let us know. Uh, if after the baby's born, after Kenny's born, did he come with the the orange suit? Or no? Took me eleven minutes to do that thing I've been avoiding for three months. A memoir. That's my next book, yeah. I think the thing that lacks, you have to have the motivation. Then when the motivation hits, you get all the things done. You feel really good until all this, the things start piling up again. Can't explain it. You all know what I'm talking about. Every time I go on LinkedIn, cringe. Dude, that is a cringe site. I was on there for a bit back in my working days, the old working man. And uh, it, was, it was very cringe, dude. LinkedIn is a weird place. When the 83-year-old starts hitting on you at the store and you realize this is your only shot at home ownership. <laughs> that is messed up. Um, sadly, this may be 
a lot of people's only chance to own a home. I will say though, you can own a home if you just move out of the place that you live, if you li move to a rural town. Oh, but th th that's not fair. Don't ask. It is what it is. People crossed over the Atlantic Ocean in a wooden ship with sails to own their own land and home, okay? They left their homeland to come here. People are still doing that today. Go to the middle of South Dakota, you will find a house for 50 grand or less. That's that is honest to God's truth. So, I digress. I'm ranting. Absolutely no one. Rap videos in the 90s and 2000s. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of like a Sugar Ray music video right now, but that's what I'm thinking of. Did he have a video like this? Steve McGrath, is that his name? I visited a gun shop in Indiana once and had to use the bathroom. Inside was a portrait of a naked man with a thick wooden board covering where his private part would be. Curiosity got the best of me, and I tried to lift the board. It let off an air horn throughout the whole store. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. And then you came out. Did you feel an ounce of shame? Maybe you should have. <laughs> or maybe they should have for putting that in there. That's kind of weird. If you don't soak your slow cooker pot for at least five to seven days after use, it voids the warranty. <laughs> yeah, you have to let your slow cooker, your crock pot, as most people call it, you got to uh, got to soak it for a whole week. Everyone knows that. I'm still vice president. Change my diaper. I wish that were funny. It, it like inside I'm laughing, but at this point, like I've, like, this is reality. So, and it's not good. If you think you have a stupid question, just remember NASA engineers once asked Sally Ride if 100 tampons were enough for a seven day mission. It's a bad question. The best part of being a flight attendant has to be when you walk the aisle saying trash to everyone's face. <laughs> That's funny. It's one of the few times you can social, it's socially acceptable to, to walk down the aisle and say trash, trash right to someone's face. Love it. Remember the feral kid in Mad Max? This is that kid now. Feel old yet? <laughs> it gets funnier as you go back and forth. Crazy, dude. That was a long time ago. Yep, he's all grown up now. He's a weirdo. Toy Story 5 is going to be incredible. I kind of want to see that. I kind of want to see... Yeah, yep, I, we need a Toy Story 5. Just keep Barbie away from him, you know? My girl told me her car wasn't driving smoothly. Y no kidding. Uh, 102? Who... What are you doing? Who put air in your tire? And you dro you were able to drive? Were you bouncing off the ground? Jeez, how did that not pop, by the way? Arizona, $2. What the hell? I thought they weren't going to freaking upcharge. This has got to be the gas station. They said, Arizona said 99 cents. They're keeping it just like the, the Costco hot dog. That's what I thought. Now you got this store upcharging, doubling the price. Greedy. Girl got four feet of chicken flavored ramen noodles on her head. <laughs> she does. What the? Oh, man. <laughs> Toddlers, when they see a disabled person for the first time. <laughs> what do you expect? They don't know. Kids don't, they, they don't know. First time they see someone that's different, they're going to stare and they're going to ask funny questions. And it's going to be awkward. <laughs> we haven't had that happen yet, but I'm waiting for it. Fork, tactical fork, assault fork, fork after fork control legislation. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah, but all, you know what? You know what they're not showing here? All the criminals, they still have the other forks. They still have the metal forks. Because they don't care. They don't care about the laws. But hey, that's for another conversation. My wife, anytime I try to help by folding the laundry, let's review your mistakes. <laughs> That's why uh, when you're folding laundry, you just fold your own clothes. Because then it's, you know, it's your, you're going to wear the, the clothes, the wrinkly clothes. So it, really, it shouldn't matter, right? 
Japanese company creates a wearable beanbag chair so you can lay down whenever and wherever you want. Uh, I kind of like this idea, but you still have to wear that thing around. So I guess if you're home all weekend and you don't plan on leaving, you can do that. But hey, whatever, it's your life. Do whatever you want. Successful people, unsuccessful people, people who love cats. <laughs> It's true. Cat people get pyramids. The sphinxes, you know. There's there's some deeper, deeper philosophy behind this meme. But what, we're going to keep it light. Just went out wearing my 1920s clothing and heard a girl ask her mom if I was a ghost. To which her mom replied, no, I think that's just a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that that's okay. That's That's hilarious. Don't get butthurt. What's the first game that comes to mind? Ooh, first game, Pokemon Red. Red version, man. That was the first one, I believe. Then blue and yellow. <sighs> Those are the days. Those were the freaking days, man. Look at that. Kids, the kids have no idea. IQ test came back negative. God is good. <laughs> You're lucky you dodged that IQ, man. You're lucky you dodged it. Because if you... If you came back positive with the IQ and then you started developing some sort of sense of uh, self, self-awareness start realizing and cringing at some of the things you've you've said or done or or how you've treated people and you're like wow that wasn't right you start thinking about things once you start thinking, once your brain starts working then you know it's all downhill from there when all the women in history fought for women's rights, so now you have to work a nine to five. <laughs> yep. Equality, right? Now wait until they start having uh, gender quotas on, on the oil rigs. You guys are going to love that. When your girl is mad at you and you keep seeing the dot, dot, dot pop up, disappear, and then pop up again 17 different times. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm in danger. <laughs> you are in danger. You're about to get a novel. And you're in trouble. Nobody picks our moms. It, you know, it's it's weird how they they decide which features to give cartoon characters. You know, <laughs> it's that's one that they decide to give a lot. The feeling of forwarding an email you have been accused of not sending is probably the same as winning a duel. Ooh, I love that feeling when they say, "Well, I never never heard about this." Well, like I emailed you. No, you didn't. Search bar, search bar. Uh, uh, yeah, did you check before you sent me that? Because yes, I did. Here it is. Forward. Slam! Love it. I ordered two cakes and asked them to write happy birthday on both, and this is what I got. Happy... Wow. Wow. Took it a little too literally. Oof. Hope you got your money back. T. Hanks G. Rossius. <laughs> that's that is so dumb that's stupid Hollywood solution to fight online piracy make movies so bad no one wants to watch them even for free <laughs> Dude, there's a reason Leonardo DiCaprio whatever you think about the guy uh, he doesn't do superhero movies because they're garbage I know I know I know I know I know I know I just offended a lot of people maybe the storylines are good you know what some of them that I have watched in the past, they're all right, okay? I, I, Iron Man, loved it. Great movie, I loved it. But there's too many superhero movies and they're, they're too cheaply made in that, like there's no real talent. You just get in front of a green screen and you juice up. You take a bunch of steroids, get it some muscles and you stand in front of a green screen. That's how they make the movies. It's silly. The most severe court sentence in any movie is being forced to coach youth sports. Okay, so you got this one. Mighty Ducks. Phenomenal movie. Legendary movie. Takes place in Minnesota. Uh, what's the one with Keanu Reeves? G-Baby, the baseball one. What else is there? Is there another movie like that? Is, are there other movies where the, the court sentences to coach kids? What's wrong, babe? You've barely touched your rested pizza. When I first met my wife, I was a bad boy. She thought she could tame. Today, I made the bed without arranging all the extra pillows the way she likes. 17 years, and she still can't cage this stallion. <laughs> 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 so 
Stand strong, brother. Don't let her break you. Don't let her break you, man. Driving through a small town, be like. Dude, I... Royalton, Minnesota. That's where this is. Goes from 65 down to 40 real quick. They'll get you. They'll get you driving through there on Highway 10. When your parents will record the good movies from TV onto a VHS tape. I kind of caught the end of this. Remember having a few movies recorded like that? Then we quickly moved into the DVD phase. So VCRs were... Does anyone still have a VCR, by the way? When it's been 20 years since your uncle took your nose and he still hasn't given it back. Oof. That's why that guy's so pissed off. That's why he's going after Harry, man. How my grandpa monitors the weather app of all the cities his grandchildren live in. That's a good grandfather right there. It is. That's what he does. He's retired. He goes out. He golfs. He checks the weather. Makes, he makes sure his family's good to go. That's a good grandpa. Can't stop thinking about people who first ate mushrooms through trial and error. This one tastes like meat. This one killed Kevin instantly. And this one made me see God for three weeks. Yeah, there's a lot of those things. Mushrooms is one of them. Like, who, who is the first one to eat all of these? That's how they learn. Trial and error. Receptionist at dentist office will look you dead in the eye and ask you if you're available four months and 13 days from now. Are you? I don't know if I am available. Make the appointment and I'll let you know a week before the appointment, okay? Just make the thing, reserve my spot, and we'll figure it out then. Don't ask, if, am I available? I don't know. Just, when my little granddaughter visits, she asks if we can watch The Laughing Man. That would be Tyler. <laughs> so I started paying more attention. Tyler's speech almost has a laugh to it. No, you were not unfairly roasted. I spend more time reading the comments after the video than I spent on watching the whole video. This channel has the best commenters. <laughs> the Laughing Man, that's who I am? Guys, 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 guys. In the comments right now, what do you think? I love that. I actually love that. Sold this iPhone 6 for $75. I get in the car and I see a $35 bill. Man, I'm mad as F. <laughs> well, that's what you get for selling an iPhone 6. Does that thing even work? That's That's got to be so slow after all the updates they make you get. Me too, Pikachu. Anyone check on this guy instead of take a picture of him? Looks like he just shattered through a freaking window. Stop taking pictures of him. Check on Pikachu. Every relationship needs one person who says, what else has he been in while watching something and one person who excitedly reads their IMDb out loud. I am both these persons. My parents, OMFG. Um, I'd say my wife always says who, you know, what else has he been in? But I'm like an encyclopedia of movies. I'm like that, this, this, and this. It's a terrible, terrible uh, curse. They released these in the 90s and wonder why millennials are obsessed with tattoos. I kind of remember those commercials. You could literally draw all of the bear. It was kind of a kind of a cool concept, but that's that's why everyone loves tattoos now. If somebody has a voodoo doll of me and keeps forcing it to make poor life decisions, please stop. It's not it's not their fault, man. It's not their fault. It's yours. Hey, Captain. I have 600 hours on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'll be in 13C if you need me. That might be more experience than a lot of these people have these days. Truly, sadly, scarily. We got all kinds of taxes forced. There's federal income tax, payroll tax, sales tax, estate tax, gift tax, corporate tax, inheritance tax, property tax, gasoline tax, state income tax, capital gains tax, death tax, excise tax, import tax, home improvement tax, school tax, sin tax, road use tax. They even tax our pets. That's about it. Tax stew, tax soup, tax salad, tax and potatoes. It, we get taxed so much, it's not even funny. It's, it's actually nauseating. Now that, this meme makes me sick to my stomach. How'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? Because if you did, you lose, and you have to go and eat the jar of sweet pickles while watching all the videos on this Education Extras channel, and you have to subscribe there. Also, remember to check and see if you are subscribed here. We got a lot of people saying they've been unsubscribed. It's still happening. So just double check to make sure you are still subscribed if you meant to in the past. Let me know how you did down in the comments while you're down there. Please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. And this is Education. Beer brewed here. It is used to make the brew beer. Idiots.